Welcome to the Scott and Tammy show. Of course so. <laughs> yeah, I'm Scott Heron. Tammy. It's, uh, star of the show right here, Tammy. Mm-hmm. Tammy Heron, she's the star. She's the one everybody wants to see. Whatever. Well, it's true. Whatever. It's true. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Going to uh, give just a second for the thing to populate. We have got a really fun time planned today. I have uh, in my hand a stack of questions. She doesn't have any idea what they are. And I'm going to get her. Oh, she's got hers too. And she says she's going to get me. So, we're going to do this rapid fire and uh, hopefully you guys can hear us pretty well. I hope you guys can. Hey, Jeremy, good to see you. Um, if you have trouble hearing, let us know. We'll speak up. We are in the middle of a of a coffee house slash record store, which means whenever I get done with this, T-bones. I've got to go. Yeah, T Bones is the name of the place. When we get done with this, a little uh, what's it called? A guitar gu- pick. Guitar pick. Yeah, it's really small for a tiny guitar. Um, whenever we get done with this, I'm going to have to go in there and do a little bit of record store shopping. So mm-hmm. there you go got to do that because I understand there's a new record out that I'm looking for. So we're going to see how that goes. There's always so, a new record out you're looking for. Always. <laughs> always. So uh, let's see here. Jeremy, hello from Florida. Jeremy, we're going to Florida here in just a couple of months. We're real excited about that. Looking forward to that. Hello world. from Arizona. Brandon, what's up, dude? Brandon. Uh, not going to Brandon. To, uh, to Brandon. Not going to... Uh, <laughs> I go to Brandon every day. Yeah, to she work. works in Brandon. It's a little city called Brandon, but close to. Um, but he lives in Arizona. We're not going to Arizona anytime soon. That I, I know of. So. Beautiful there. One of Jamie's favorite places in the entire world is um, the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna live there one day. Can you live there? That's a state park. You probably can't. You can't there. live there. You can stay in there though, and a camper. You got a camper. Yeah. So what I was saying a few minutes ago is we have these questions that we're going to ask each other. It's going to be a lot of fun. And my wife made these uh, paddles. Show them your paddles. This is Tammy on one side and Scott on the other. Mm-hmm. And we're going to ask each other these questions. I had a mustache on yours, but sometimes I have a mustache, so I thought it would be confusing if it had a mustache because we don't know who was talking about me. <laughs> so, so we had to change it to a skull. She does not have a mustache. Sometimes, but no, you, you know, sometimes. You look great today, by the way. You do too. You really do. You're awesome. You're smoking. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's true. It's mm. true. Uh, whenever we touch the table, it moves the camera, so I apologize in advance because I have a habit of doing that. Oh. Okay, first question. You ready to play already? Yeah. Oh, okay, Wait, she's it? ready. Well, give me my paddle. <laughs> there you go. So, I'm, so what I do is I say, whenever you ask your question, I throw up the one that I think it it is real fast. And we're doing this rapid fire, so we don't have a whole lot of time to think, which is why we both came up with questions, and neither one of us know what the other person's question is going to be. I might even know my own questions. By the way, that does look like your lips whenever you're going to give me a big old kiss. Okay. It does. That looks like my skull that's under my skin. Okay. Um, Yeah. There you go. All right, you want to do a question first? You want me to? I will. Who is never wrong? Who's never wrong? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is who is never wrong? I don't know. It's what the internet says. I'm wrong a lot of times. If I'm never wrong, why am I always apologizing? I don't know. Right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. All right, my okay. turn. My turn. Ready? But Jeremy and Brandon, they could ask questions too. Yeah, if you guys have a question you want to ask, throw it up there, and if we see it, we'll we'll, we'll rapid fire it too. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Okay. Most piercings. Ah. Uh huh. So now we have to count. I guess. Okay. Um, All right, I've got one, six. two. Three there. I have one, two, three there, and then one up here that we got together. Yeah. So I have seven. I have six. So. But you're wearing. But but how many did you have? You remember she used to work at Claire's. Remember she was in college, mm-hmm. and she would get bored and pierce herself. So, how does that fit into that? Um, 
I don't know. I can't count that high. So, mm -hmm. current piercings. You okay, have more. current. So, I have more. So, see, I'm wrong. Now then. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All okay, right. Okay, so here's another question that I have no idea what she's going to throw up. Who is better at remembering our anniversary date? I'm a good date rememberer. You are. You know why? I put them in my calendar on my phone. I just realized last night I had a calendar on my phone. <laughs> So, but I can't, still can't use it. There you go. So, um, <laughs> By the way, uh, one more time, we are at T-Bone's Record Store slash cafe in a coffee shop in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And uh, we want to thank them for letting us use their Wi-Fi because I, our, our Wi-Fi really sucks. I wanted to go to New Orleans and do it from Cafe Du Monde, but um, we don't know if you can sit down in New Orleans. Do y'all know? Can you sit in New Orleans yet in the Cafe Du Monde? We don't know if the Cafe Du Monde's open yet. And even do they have Wi-Fi? I don't know. Right. But they have beignets. So. Okay, so okay. it's my turn, turn for a question. Ready? Yes. Biggest worrier. Scott. <laughs> I worry about nothing. She doesn't. She never worried. And, and I came up with some of these questions off the internet so that I would be fair. So, but it's true. It's true. She worries about absolutely nothing. I wish I was a whole lot more like her. In it that makes aspect. life easier. What? It makes life easier. I guess it does. Okay. What's up, Mark? Mark is watching from Dallas. Dallas, what's up? Mark. What's up? My, my Texas. She was born in Texas. Longview, Texas. Longview, Texas. Um, yeah. Good Shepherd Hospital. He's really fat. Yeah. Okay. She was really fat. <laughs> All right. No, you're not, though. <laughs> All right, question. Okay. Who lies the most? <laughs> mm hmm It's little lies. Mm -hmm. Little lies to make you feel better. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, she, she does this whole thing about, oh, no, it's everything's fine. Everything's fine. When it may not really or, be fine. No, I haven't had any speeding tickets at all. No, never. No, no speeding. speeding. When did you get a speeding ticket? Never had a speeding ticket. That's a lie. <laughs> I know. All right, your turn. When did you have one last? I don't know. When did you have one? Look, last? don't worry about it. Next question. This is not See? interrogate Tammy. This is answer quick See? questions. Wow, it's quick fire. Yeah, quick fire. Ask your question. Okay, here we go. Who likes TV the most? I'm gonna say she does. I never watch TV. HGTV, maybe. <laughs> oh, you and mean TV or Netflix? What are you talking about? TV. Like. The question was, who likes TV? Okay. Who watches more TV? You? <laughs> do not. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. And the thing about it, when she watches TV, you know what she does? She does this. And, like, there can be a tornado ripping off the other side of the house, and she's going... So I'll start singing, Mary had a little lamb, and then she'll be like, oh, I'm listening to you. Bye. Next question. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Who wears the pants in the family? Oh, I've got that question, too, so I'm going to have to put a different question up. <laughs> okay, sometimes I do. She likes the, um, she likes the quote from, what's the... Big Fat Great Wedding. Yes, yes, tell the quote. Um, he may be the head of the family, but I am the neck. <laughs> and that means she can turn the head. Yeah, she likes that. Actually, also, we really, we really have a pretty good relationship where we, yeah. we, we're, we, we are very, and, and we're being funny, some today, but we're very conscious of the other person's feelings, and she's very much so. And we consider each other and talk a lot. We try not to do anything without discussing it. And, Usually. Okay. Also, another favorite quote from Big Fat Great Wedding. So, uh, he no eat meat. I don't know. I'm not a good quote. You no know eat meat? There you go. <laughs> okay, your okay. question. Funniest. I'm saying you. No. Anybody that follows your Facebook knows well. that you are a freaking hilarious comedian. Mm. Very dry, weird sense of humor, but, but it's I wouldn't consider it funny. But, okay, next question. No, it's true. We're Wait not, a second. I'm talking about this right now. We're not right talking now. about me. We're talking about who snores. But this is about you. This is about me and you. Okay. She's turning that neck now. Okay. Who snores louder? That one's easy. You don't snore much anymore. 
Are you lying? Because no, you lying. said you lie. I do lie, but no, you don't snore much any, any, anymore. I lost about 80 pounds. I've gained back a little bit of that, but I'm working on trying to lock, to, 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 to knock it back down Tim again. Tim is from South Africa. Awesome. What's up, Tim? Good to see you, bro. Yeah. By the way, if any of you guys have questions you would like for us to rapid fire answer, Scott or Tammy, throw these questions at us and we'll answer these. It's good to see you guys. And uh, thank you for all of you folks that are watching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Who's the smartest? Book yeah. smart, not not. Um, you're, book, you're pretty book smart, and you're 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 a smart person. Maybe. We just got recently got a puppy, and that was the the main thing that we wanted was one that would be intelligent. You're right, Karen, because you lost all that weight. So that's why you don't snore anymore. Oh, hey, Karen. Karen's watching. Karen is uh, one of my health coaches. Good to see you, Karen. Marriage isn't a word. Yes. It's a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Marriage isn't a word. Yeah. Got that right. Okay. Right. Karen is from California, by the way. Anybody that, yeah. Jealous. So actually, she's from, she's from here. Karen okay. is from the coast, Gulfport area, and then she moved to California because she's living on the edge. That's awesome. Literally. The edge of the country over there. <laughs> Okay, um, so is it your turn or yes, my turn? Yes, me. Who okay. is, I don't know, who is better with technology? Better with tech? Easy. She gets, the, she gets the remote, and it's one of these super easy remotes. It's got like three buttons on it, and she's going. Your question. <laughs> okay, my question. Uh, most fashionable. Okay. Yeah. You're a fashionable That's person. just a given. How many times TJ did you Max change speed. clothes before we got over twice. here today? Twice. Twice. You changed twice. That's that's actually pretty good. Sometimes you change three, four, five times the in the one, car. The one time a week we go out. This is my one day to fix my hair day. Okay. Uh -huh. who, who owns more shoes? I don't think we're... <laughs> what? I don't, I don't think I own more shoes. I do what? like... I do like Vans, Vans shoes. How many pairs of Vans do you have? Like six, but but I don't know more shoes. You you buy lots of tennis shoes. I don't buy lots of tennis shoes. My nephew and I inherited a lot oh, from yeah. my nephew yeah. because he's a growing boy, and he's passed me up and he's given me some shoes. Remember that second, third question there? She yeah. Okay, my turn. Okay. Who's the most stressed out? Easy. Easy. Explain. We said I don't. I don't get stressed out. You really don't get stressed out very much. I stress mm -hmm. over. I've been. I think. I think this COVID thing's really gotten to me. You know, there's been a lot of loss and a lot of. I've had my vaccine. Scott gets his vaccine on Tuesday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow he gets his shot. His arm's gonna fall off. But other than that, it's it's pretty easy. <laughs> I, I got a little. I had some repercussions from it, but um, but I'm good now. So I got it. I got it early because I'm a, a health care professional. But um, she works in health care, and I I, I t take care of my mom, and I'm worried about my mom. So okay, so I stress out a little bit about that. But anyway, okay. Any questions over here? No, still it marriage isn't a word. It's a sentence. I love that, Tim. Long, long. All sentence. right. So. Okay. Who is the pickiest eater? I eat anything. I don't care. Except my cooking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just because I don't cook. Just because I don't yes, cook. you do cook. You know, last week we talked about you being um, a little bit of uh, self-conscious about your cooking. You're a good cook. Okay. I burnt toast yesterday. I like burnt toast. See, I'm, I, I'm sweet like that. I just love that burnt toast. It was so good. Okay. Your question. Okay. Here we go. Who likes to kiss the most? Yeah. Who's the better? She's already asking another question. Who's the better? She's already asking another question. Uh -huh. Who's the better singer? I like to sing. You sing very well. Well, you sing good too, though, and you sing a lot. I hear you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, you sing fine. Okay, your question. Okay, my question. 
Why do you go flying past my this questions? Is speed, speed. Yeah, but you don't speed. even elaborate at all. You just fly past them. This, this is speeding, <laughs> speed game. Speed. Who's the biggest Star Wars fan? Maybe. I could watch the first three over and over. The uh, the ones from the eighties. They're really good. She likes the. She likes Star Wars uh, a lot. I wanted to name our dog Chewbacca, but um, we got Motley Chew instead. I like Motley. He's a sweet dog. Um, we, yeah, uh, Star Wars is, is huge to me. I love it. We, we went to the Star Wars land at Disney World. It was a lot of fun. But um, I was at the theater for the opening day of the very first Star Wars Episode Four in 1977, I guess, 78. I wasn't born then. Yes, you were. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who's more likely to be late? Yeah, we were going to be here a lot sooner to get ready for this than we got here. We're ready. <laughs> we're ready. Mm -hmm. Question. What? Question. Who's the best driver? It's okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we have insurance. Especially if you have all these tickets you haven't told me about. Who is the neater person? That's because I'm a little bit OCD. Yeah, a little. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> what was that face? I'm a little OCD. Not terrible. Not not debilitating, but a little bit. Just a little. It's okay. It's okay. I like when you get in your little cleaning modes and clean stuff. On you. Your turn. Should we tell the story about the laundry or the dishes? I don't care. I ain't yeah, yeah. scared. <laughs> Every now and then, she. I have things to do. I have crafting to do because I'm trying to paper trip to Disney World. I ain't got time to be cleaning dishes and doing laundry. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Having a good time. I'm gonna start taking pictures of you to show on these things. I'm just gonna start showing pictures care. of you doing dishes. I ain't scared. She does dishes. She's talking all big and bad. We both do dishes. We both do laundry. Okay. We do. <laughs> Who sleeps the best? Mm, I love to sleep. You can sleep anywhere, anytime. You just she could go to sleep right now so easy. If I gave her five minutes, she she can sleep standing up. <laughs> she can. I'm gonna sleep while I'm driving, coming home from work all the time. Tell me that again. I didn't hear you. I sleep <clears throat> coming home from work all the time in Walmart parking lot in McGee, Mississippi. She has a long commute, and she'll just pull over in the parking lot and take a nap. I've got. Makes me a little nervous. <clears throat> the cops knocked on my door one time in Whataburger. Somebody reported me. They thought I guess I was. Dead. But um, I explained to them. It took a yep. while to explain to them why I was there. But anyway, they, they do a breathalyzer they on let you. Me go. <laughs> no. She's wearing her scrubs and everything. All right. Mm -hmm. Who takes up most of the bed? Yeah. Again, sleeping is my favorite thing to do. She, she. My question. It's a beautiful uh, day today. Who would be the, where y'all are. What? <laughs> I was just saying it's a beautiful day today, and I hope wherever, um, let's see, Mark and Tim and Karen and it's Tim again, and other, where, I hope it's pretty there. Yeah, if you're, if you're watching and you haven't said hello, say hello. We'd love to know where you're from. All right. <laughs> Who would be the very first person to go to Mars? Hmm, I would love to go to Mars. Only problem is I read somewhere that if you go right now, they don't know that you'll be able to get back. But you know, if everybody I love went with me, that might be okay. You is wouldn't it, care. You just go. Is there coffee on Mars, or is there your husband Good. on Mars? Thank you. That's what I said. If everybody you said I loved, coffee. After I said if everybody I loved went, I would go. Uh huh. Her favorite book. Oh, let me ask, anybody ever been to Cocoa Beach? I'm trying to decide if we should go there because it's close to Cape Canaveral. So, Cocoa Beach? Um, anybody ever been Our there? friend from Florida? Yeah, yeah. 
if he's still here. Yeah, Jeremy, if you're still here, tell us about Cocoa Beach. Cocoa oh, Beach. there's more comments. Oh. Here we go. Cocoa Beach, or what was the other one on the other side of Florida? Uh, Clearwater? Yeah, Clearwater. Okay. Clearwater or Cocoa Beach. Okay, here's some more comments we just found. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, Karen's like, uh, Nick Layton says, what's up? Nick Layton is a guitar genius. Awesome. From Seattle. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Karen's from Pascagoula, not Gulfport. Sorry, Karen. Get it right. I'm... Yeah. Peter from Sweden. Beautiful. See, I'm, I'm wrong. She said I'm never wrong, but I am wrong a lot. Um, Peter is from Sweden. Hello, dude. Saw you guys the other day doing your podcast. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. Um, Littlefield, Texas. Cheryl Bowman, Littlefield. Is that, is that anywhere close by? I don't, I don't recognize it. No. She, she was born in Longview. We mentioned that a minute ago. Don't go there, dude. Okay. <laughs> Remotes are from Who the devil. Who owns more earrings? Oh, probably. Definitely. I do. I do something different with my gauges every day. I try to do something kind of funky. Mm-hmm. But they're like cheapos. They're like a twenty pack from Amazon Kirk for five dollars. Kirk wants to know who has the hotter temper. Kirk says, "Who has the hotter temper?" I'm like what? I think that could go either way. <laughs> okay. 70 and sunny in Nashville. That's yeah, awesome. 70 and sunny. It's, it's about 70 degrees let's here see, and let's beautiful. See. Let's, the it's got to be close here. to 70. Oh, let's see here. Sorry I didn't see all these Head comments earlier. Brew. Yes, I love Headbangers. Why is yes. it scrolling? I don't know. We're going to just start making it scroll. Okay. Headbangers Brew, yeah, we, we are on our 71, Jamie, so we're close. Yeah, 71, Jamie. Um, do you like seafood? Yes, I yes. do. Who likes it more? Probably you. He made um, gumbo last night, actually. James Nelson. Mm-hmm. Hey, James. Um, Mark Wells. What's up, Jamie? Um, and James Nelson. Hey, guys. Or, hey, James. What's up, guys? Good to see all of you. We're going to start scrolling so I can see the comments better. I don't know why it didn't just let me see them. God. Okay. <laughs> Who spends the most money? I don't think so. You do. <laughs> Who buys more? Wait, 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 wait. What, one trip. She's been working for six months in a fleet market to pay for one trip. I'm talking about like on Amazon. And Five dollar earrings for a <laughs> twenty pack. Fine, your turn. <laughs> Who's best at fixing things? Well, this could go either way. This could go either way. I'm going to do this. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You think I fix things? Yeah. Like the other day, she's a, she's ingenuitous. That's a big word, ingenuitous. The other day, we were um, cleaning out our dryer blows the hot air, you know, through a duct that goes down through our foundation. And I put a brush on there that goes on your drill and run it up in the run it up in the um, the the duct to pull all that junk out, and the brush got st- tip pro tip when you're using a brush on the end of a dry a, a pole that you've got on a drill and you're running it up in there to blow all the dust out. Be sure you have the dryer spinning, the, the, the dryer, the uh, drill spinning the right way. Otherwise, it unscrews the brush up inside your house under the, yeah. And you came up with an ingenious way of fixing it with duct tape. She put duct tape on the end of one of these tape. poles and pushed that thing out of it. She did very good. I'm taking a picture of Kirk's comment so I don't forget when we're in Disney World or go to Cocoa Beach. Oh, okay. Is Kirk's it? comment about Cocoa Beach. Go to Chuck Seafoods. I'll try that. Okay. Don't forget. Sweet. Okay. Very Ma- nice. Michael. Oop. Oh shoot. Sorry. I'll. Uh, I don't know Michael. what you just did. <laughs> Technology. Technology. Okay. My Isn't question. that something off of uh, Napoleon I love Dynamite? Technology. I know technology. But not as much as you and me. All right. Who? Hey. You're such a good singer. Yeah. Whatever. Your question is. Okay. Uh, I already did. We already did this. Did this one. So let me grab another one. How are we doing on time? We're doing great. We're doing great on time. Okay. Where's the clock? Oh, I got you. See it. Who likes animals the most? 
I don't know. We both like animals. I like animals a lot. Yeah, we both like animals. I like your spinny thing. That's cool. <clears throat> like, huh? Who? Who is most likely to get arrested? Why? <clears throat> what would I be arrested for? Um, for loving you too much. For um, if you got pulled over or something. What's up, John? And for like not, I don't know, for getting mad at the cop or something. For popping off at a cop yeah. for getting pulled over. Yeah. I, but I respect law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. But what? I could just see you know that happening. Okay. Maybe for beating up somebody that pulls out in front of me in traffic. That's what this handle is up here you hold on to. If somebody pulled, today I did it, somebody pulled out in front of me and I'm like, oh, it's called the OS handle. I don't know if y'all ever heard that. So I won't say what that stands for, but okay. What are you talking about? I was good driving today. You did. You I'm actually, a good driver. You actually handled it really well. Okay. <sighs> Question. You sound stressed out. I'm not stressed. I never stress. Who's more romantic? That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, romance. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. How are we doing, John? Oh, I don't need to be touching that. John said good evening. I'm not sure where John's from, but he said good evening. John, Sonia. Uh, back to work. All right, Mark. Good to see you, dude. Bye, Mark. Hang in there. Okay, who's the biggest pushover? Biggest pushover. I don't know. Probably you. See, I'm all big and bad till, till someone looks at me with that face and it's like. So I am the neck. Yeah, I'm a pushover. Who? Well, that's obvious. Who takes longer to get ready? I mean, that's obviously me. Okay. It's one of the reasons why we're mostly late to everything. Okay. But I love you that way. I love you just the way you are. Oh, thank you. I'm I sorry. do. Just the way you are. Who does Motley love more? James, he loves Scott. He loved me from the get-go. <laughs> that's why I liked him so much. I was looking at all these little puppies, and when I looked, he crawled up in my lap, and he put his head right here on my shoulder, and he just went, <sighs> like that. Um, <clears throat> I did buy him an Easter outfit, and I tried to put him on him last night, and it's too small. Yeah, he's grown. He's grown a lot. Um, Tim wants to know if Brother Buford approves of this chat. Uh, I don't know, Tim. Brother Buford doesn't approve of very much of anything. But I think he needs to come. Well, I can chat with Brother Buford. Brother Buford would eat you up and spit you out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've had lots of practice with Brother Buford types in our day. Who has the coolest friends? The coolest friends? Well, I don't know. I like your friends, too. All your friends are cool. But our friends, my friends hey, are baby. your friends, and your friends are my friends. True. So, True. although... You didn't post a link to our live chat from last week on your friend on your Facebook page. Oh. <laughs> you wonder why. Oh, I'm almost out of questions. Are you embarrassed by me? No. <laughs> you didn't want, didn't want your friends to watch? Oh, I don't care. I just didn't, but I will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who has... Uh, what'd you say? Oh, D Danny's on. Hey, Danny, how's the shoulder going? Danny had shoulder surgery. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What's up, Danny? All right, I got a question. Since I got two or three more than you no, have left, you go I'll go ahead. Be... You just keep, just keep going. All right, who is the sneakiest? I don't know about this ticket thing. <laughs> Where'd that come from? It was just a thought. It was, uh -huh. just, it was just a thought. Just a thought. All right, <clears throat> you can ask a few more. So okay. You came up with a lot. Good grief. What? Okay, good. Who saved the most lives? That's a good question. Saved I thought that was, I saw that on the internet. Who saved who saved the most lives? Like heaven or help? No, like like health. I mean we all we're trying to get people to heaven of course, but and but but I don't get people to heaven. 
Jesus gets people to heaven. So, hey. all right, how are you? So uh, Jesus well, gets people nurse. to heaven. I'm a nurse. I mean, that's so. my job. Yeah, my so, job. So you've saved lots of little babies. Yeah. She's a baby nurse. So. I have a good job. Yeah, you do. I, one time, I worked in a hardware store, and this guy fell out, fell out in the middle of the aisle, and died right there in the middle of the aisle. He turned blue. And all these people that work there were standing around in a circle, and I'm like freaking out. So I jumped down. I I literally gave this guy mouth to mouth and chest compressions, and his color came back, but he didn't survive. I didn't really save a life there. Well, you did it for a minute. No, I don't think he ever came. I just think I may have got his blood going, but I don't think he ever came back. Well, you tried. Well, you I did try. try. I still dream about that sometimes too. That was kind of creepy. Mm. So, but I didn't save that life. You do though. Mm. Who has the best hair? I think you do. I have this is picture. Thin. I said this because this is my picture on mine. Mine's thin. This is a picture. I'll get you to hold it up. When Scott had no hair. Oh, your girls are going to be mad about that picture. Oh. Um, anyway, he was bald. Okay. Bald headed. Also, Might be coming another, back sometime too. While we're doing too. picture montages, this is my only other picture. Um, you know, it was on our anniversary. No, no, our, our um, I don't know when that was. Oh. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Everybody's got to have their own. Um, We're smoking in that picture. <laughs> Everybody's got to have their picture made. You in the are. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, got to have the. Yeah. Everybody has to have their little dress up. Right. Your turn. Um, who is more musically inclined? Not necessarily singing. I think it's you. No. Yeah, you were a band nerd. Yeah, but. I like you, band you played nerds. the piano for like seven years and danced and sang and guitar, harmonica, and ukulele. I've never told anybody that I did piano for seven years, Scott but did, I did. Scott did piano for seven years. I did. And, uh, oh, Haley's on. Hey, Haley. What's up, Haley? Did you see your picture? She showed a picture of you. Did you see she it? She said, we so cute. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll ask a question. Okay. Who did we already ask who the funniest was? I think we did. I think we did, yeah. Okay. Who has the best taste in music? I think you do. I have good music taste. Yeah. You don't like it. Though. It's okay. <laughs> She's so nice. She's that's like you don't like it. She's like, it's okay. Mm. All right. You want one? What time is Ready? it? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got some time left, baby. We're doing we're doing good on our time. You guys may have to start asking some questions because <laughs> yeah. we're about to run out of our questions. All right? Who does Motley love more? Danny says uh, it's going. Yeah, his. I bet it is painful, dude, with that shoulder, man. Oh my goodness. So, um, who would get killed first in a horror movie? I would fall down. <clears throat> I agree. <laughs> I would you do that running thing that you do, and then you or trip. I would just sit there and stare at him, just like, what, what, dude, what? And he'd just like, <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be like, bring it. Come on with it, he would. Because you don't care. Because she don't, she doesn't stress anyway. So she'd be like, bring it. <laughs> is that an axe? <laughs> is, is, Run her back. Is that, is that a machete? Bring it. <laughs> See what you got. You would do that. <laughs> by the way, I'm walking around the store yesterday, and she's with me, and I come, I come around the corner, and she's standing there holding an axe. No, it's a machete. Oh, a machete. They have them in Walmart. Geek, 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 geek. Yeah. But the guy working there, he wasn't too impressed. But anyway, I thought it was funny. What did, <laughs> somebody saw you do that. Look at that guy standing there stocking the shelves. Oh, I was standing behind him. him with a machete. <laughs> I was waiting on you, not him. She he thought she was it. going to machete him? I don't think so, but he was just curious. Oh, she keeps life hey, interesting. Hey, um, huh? I need to order more coffee. Can you keep this going for just a minute while I... You're really going to leave and go order more coffee. I'll lose all our viewers. <laughs> they're, just, they're just here to see you. Whatever. 
Okay, fine. Yeah, you can wait just a few minutes to get okay. your coffee. Yes, I um, would trip on my old Navy flip-flops, Haley. Yeah, she would. So, who is toughest when it comes to pain? Well, women are made that way. So I, mean, I have, have babies. never seen anybody tougher than you when it comes to pain, though. And she had babies, and she'd go into labor. And, I mean, when the big old waves of labor would hit, and you could see it on the little thing, and that thing's going, and she'd just close her eyes. And she'd squeeze my hand. That's it. She didn't do all that hollering and yelling and stuff like you see in the movies. Do people really do that? You work at the hospital. People really holler and yell? Yeah. They really holler and yell and like yell at their it spouse. Depends if they've had an epidural or not. You didn't have an epidural when you would do that. <clears throat> well. I mean, you got one later, but yeah. you didn't. Some people do. It just depends on how you deal with it. They cuss at their spouse and yeah. say, you did this to me kind of thing. Yeah. Really? Sometimes they people really do that do before that. they go into labor. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Well, I'm out of questions. Okay. So. I got a few more. Any other questions over here yet? Who would make the best Jedi? Mm. Mm-hmm. Because she knows all the Jedi code. I don't know all that stuff. So, I'm not sure what. I could do it. I try to do mind. I could do it. I could. The mind. I'm almost there. Yeah. yeah. I'll be working up, you know, around the house, and I'll be doing dishes, and I'll turn around. She's standing behind me. She's going. <laughs> it worked. You did the dishes. And I'm over doing the dishes. Yeah. It worked. Okay. I wish I were a Jedi. Who is the weepiest? I don't know. I don't know. The older I get, the more I'm weepy. Yeah. Probably me. Yeah. Well, I'm coming off like a wuss this time, <laughs> ain't I? Yeah. The older I get, I do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm weepy and. Yeah. I'm one of those mean old ladies that just cusses all the time. No, you're not. You're coming off like a tough guy. <laughs> okay. But I do. I, I think the older I get, and I think I think what we went through in the... Uh, Peter. Was, yeah, Peter, you're right, Peter. Although, if Boy like, George is 80s metal, then... Boy George is not 80s metal. I remember one of my friends at school one time said, Have you seen that new chick? She's hot. They call her Boy George. He oh, was serious. He, he was serious. He was cute as a girl. He's still cute. I follow him on Instagram. He's he still sings good. She's He's got a, a good voice. Boy George fan. If you didn't know that from last time. Um, who's looking more forward to grandbabies, Jamie? Um, I don't know about that one. I'm pretty excited about yeah, that. Yeah, I would say I am too. I want to start buying lots of baby clothes again. Scott wants to spoil them endlessly and buy them. Um, little heavy metal things with guitars on it and stuff. I'm already buying little the golden book. books. You ever seen little golden books? I'm already buying some of those. <clears throat> I did hear um, they've banned several of um, Cat in the Hat books. So if you can find them, they're worth a lot of money. I just don't remember what their names are. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Right. Yeah, I think I'm pretty excited about having, having babies. 80s metal. 80s metal bands. Did you, you like some 80s metal stuff. I liked hair metal stuff. Yeah. I still like hair metal stuff. I like George Michael. That's not He's metal. He's dead now. That's Drugs. Not, that's another... But I like That's him. another Boy George. Alice Cooper. Hollywood Vampires. They are good because though it's his names in it that I like. Yeah, you like Johnny Depp. That's why you like, I like Hollywood Johnny Vampires. Johnny Depp. Yeah. Um, and I like um, Aerosmith. He's got cool hair. Aerosmith. You like um, Steven Tyler. Mm -hmm. I like Steven Tyler. Yeah, she likes Steven Tyler. That's still not metal. Um, Aerosmith isn't metal? No. You guys think Aerosmith is metal? No. They're hard rock. Okay. Rock to hard rock. They're not metal. But I like, I like that. I mean, I, I like pretty much... All that stuff. I like it. All right, I got a, I got one for you. Ready? Okay. In our family, who's the strongest leader? Why are you saying? I figured you'd say you, because you're being all <laughs> tough. Hello. No, you are. I try to be. And you do a good and job. You're, and you're you're right there with me. It's kind of like um, uh, this one preacher that we like to listen to. Um, or I like to listen to. He, he says something Driscoll. I think is. Art Driscoll. Yeah. 
He says something that's pretty cool that, and this is good for those of you that are in relationships. <laughs> that James the, said, no, it's not metal. No, it's <laughs> All not metal. Right. Yeah, it's not. Fine. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate that, James. Um, no, uh, this preacher says that a, a, a woman comes from a man's side, and therefore men and women are better when they're side by side because if the woman is out front and it's feminism, that's not right. If a man's out front, it's chauvinism. That's not right. That it should be side by side. Bible. I agree. And I like that. I agree. So we make a pretty good team. I think we so. lead together. We do. Okay. Let's see if I got any more. Uh, you asked one similar to the, that one, so I'm going to wait. I'm gonna do that one. Um, okay. Here's one. Who will live longer? Earthly. Oh. I drink lots of Diet Coke, and it's probably going to kill me. Diet but Coke? But I like it a lot. Yeah, but you're still, you're still going to live longer than me. You might be pickled, but you'll live longer than me. <laughs> Men always die first. Not always. It's the most depressing thing. You go to a church, and they're having, like, the senior adult choir singing a song, and the senior adults are all up there with their little silver hairs and so pretty and their little voices, and it's all ladies, and about 15 ladies and about two men. Why? Because the men don't live that long. Because we kill y'all off while cooking. <laughs> Your cooking will not kill me. <laughs> okay, well, I did make that dessert last night, and I'm not sure when that Cool Whip expired that I put on top of it that you ate it. So. I ate some dessert. Karen, I ate some dessert. I did. Uh, who loves Haley more? Ah, oh, y'all better live longer than me, Maggie says. Whatever, well, Maggie, you're going to way outlive Maggie us. Maggie does have COVID right now. Yeah, her, our oldest daughter, Maggie, that's commenting over there. Everyone say a prayer for Maggie. She's got COVID and her husband has COVID. Okay, they're doing okay. And uh, they're just they're just running fever and headache and all that kind of stuff. Young and healthy, and that's good. And we're thankful for that. And, uh, praying that they will continue to do okay. Because I've seen a lot of people that did not do okay. COVID's been tough. <clears throat> um, who is more easily frightened? What? <laughs> no. Well, tell them what you like to do around the house. Well, I mean, I'm talking about scary movies and stuff. Well, I like scary movies. Well, I mean, I don't like them because they freak me out. And I think about them for weeks on end. Well, that's true. I remember whenever we were kids, that movie still, you know the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's the reason you won't watch scary movies now. When we were kids, teenagers, we watched a scary movie, and it was called... Pet Cemetery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. She saw Pet Cemetery, and it freaked her out. And The Sixth Sense freaked me out. The Sixth Sense wasn't even that scary, though. It was just no. psychological. Yeah, I don't like psychological stuff. But um, Pet Cemetery did. That scared you bad. And she doesn't, she don't watch them anymore now. Nope. Just romantic comedies. Rom-coms. Who cried first during a walk to remember? Who cried first during a walk to... I don't remember a walk to remember. Isn't that where they both died at the end holding hands or something? No, that's the notebook. Oh. Walk to remember. Is that where he has the book and she has um, Alzheimer's and she's sitting out by the crew, by the lake? And, and the that's the notebook, I think. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember that movie, Kirk. We're just going to say Scott cried first. <laughs> When's the last time I cried in a movie? I don't remember crying in a movie. Bambi. I won't watch Bambi. It's a terrible movie. Who would who would sit a child down in front of a TV and say, Here, watch this movie about this, about this baby deer whose mom and dad get killed. It's terrible. <clears throat> who would do that? Um, Walk to Remember is when the girl has cancer. I'm going to watch that. Mm. No Mandy Moore. She has cancer. She is PK. He is rebel. I don't think I, I don't think I saw it. If I always look at the endings up, and if there's a bad ending, I won't watch it. I'm the same way. I don't like movies with a bad ending. Unless it's a scary movie. Then. then you chopped up. Come on with it. Uh-huh. She, one of her favorite things to do is to, to sit around the house and wait for me to go into the back of the house and then get behind the corner. 
Oh, and at the time I woke up in the middle of the night. Y'all, this is not a... I'm a night owl. I'm not making this up. This is no lie. You can't make this kind of stuff up. I am sitting... I'm sitting... I'm asleep. Dead asleep. And I wake up in the middle of the night to see her standing by my bed doing this. Like that. How could you see it was the middle of the night? It was dark. There was enough light in there that I could see it. And she was standing there doing that, y'all. I come up, I was ready to karate chop her in the face, but I didn't. Because I love her. I was but bored. Thankfully, I woke I up before shift, I went to so doing my... Sometimes at night I get bored. Thankfully, I woke up before I went doing my... I was my doing my Jedi chop. nine tricks on you. Yeah, she's going... I like did that. one time, um, well, several times... But this one time I did go outside, it took a long time, and waited outside the bathroom window while he was in the shower. True story. I get out and of the so shower I and I turn around. Ease up. <laughs> I turn around and there's the window and I see outside. I was excited. I was excited that she just wanted to see me. <laughs> so I, I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well Are we uh, out of questions. Yeah, we're out of questions. But I Who do have something I want to tell you about. Most? Uh, judged. James must know. Judged. Probably Scott, uh, just because of his. My share because of my what? Your tattoos and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she don't have any tattoos. Um, I can't decide what I want. Yeah, I'm going to get one. I just don't know what Really? Day. One day. You are? Yeah, when I turn 50. That's what you said when you turned 40. Well, I just can't decide what I want. But. So. There you go. Kirk said they liked that movie. They both cried. Oh, mm-hmm. I would have too, Kirk. That's why I didn't watch it, I'm sure. If it had to do with all that. Mm-hmm. Um, tell y'all, I've got to tell you about something that happened to me this week. And this is a true story. And when I posted about it, what, it would make the best survivor on an island? I don't know about that. I think I'd do pretty good. Do you know how to build a fire with just a stick? Do you? I've seen it on Alone. My favorite show is Alone and Naked and Afraid. Naked and Afraid. She watches that. <clears throat> I know how to get gravel and put your water through it and make it drink it. I want to see her do it. We'll get home and take some dirt and some water. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll do it. So this, this happened to me this week, and I'll share this with you. And this is a true story. When I put this on Facebook, I got over 400 responses. It was It was crazy but this is a true story um one day last week it was after our podcast last week by the way thank you guys for watching last week's podcast it was um uh really good done. oh hang on real quick we got some noise coming oh fire truck yeah i agree maggie gilligan <laughs> uh-huh yeah that's it got my skills from gilligan's island I'm dang proud of it okay um so i'm going to meet tammy over town and I left work, and it was raining really hard, and it was dark. And um, going through, going down the highway, coming at me, there was a car in a turn lane turning, and he's coming, and he's going to turn across in front of me in, in the path of where I'm going. And this is real. I, I, I'm not making this up. Talking about it even kind of freaks me out. I'm still not really over this. The, uh, the car was sitting dead still and then I get here comes another fire truck sorry guys maybe this is an omen you're telling your story about the time the oh yeah sirens come through so anyway this this as as I got within 50 feet of this car and I'm going 55 miles an hour so I mean you're looking like within a second within a real an, an actual second of this car he started to roll and he turned and he pulled in front of me and immediately, I don't know if you guys have ever been through anything like that, but, but I had all of these thoughts pop into my head. I mean, you've heard the people talk about their life flashing before their eyes, but I had all these thoughts that popped in. It was just immediately my mind processed all of these thoughts. And I was thinking, well, one thing I'm thinking is, boy, I'm glad it's me and not my daughters or my wife. Um, I'm thinking my wife is waiting on me because you had just texted me and told me that you were there and that you had saved me a place. And I'm thinking, well, she's not going to know where I'm at. She, I'm just not going to show up. She's going to wonder where I'm at. 
because um, I'm, I'm fixing to hit this car, and, and y'all, this would have been the worst accident, I and I've been in several, but this would have been the worst accident I've ever been in. It would have been carnage. It would have been bad. And I'm thinking all these questions, you know, you're not going to know where I'm at. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I sure do love Jesus. You know, thank you, God, for giving me a good life. I mean, I really am. I'm really thinking these things. And thank, thank you, God, for giving me a good life. And, and um, you've been so good to me and, and all these things. And I'm, I'm thinking about one thing I thought about, and this is, this is for real. Um, okay, whenever I'm, I'm going to hit this car, because I'm going 55, he's turned straight in front of me. It's about to be a dead-on T-bone situation. And we're at T-bones eating. It's weird. <laughs> so anyway, I'm thinking I better I better relax. Have you ever thought about that? You're, you're fixing to have a, a car wreck, and you're thinking you better relax and and let your arms go limp because if you if you hold the steering wheel like this and you're, you're gripping it, it might break your arms. And I'm thinking that. I'm thinking, okay, I want to relax my legs, relax my arms because I'm fixing to be mangled up. Then maybe that will help the situation. And I remember sitting sinking back into the car, into the seat because I'm thinking the airbag's gonna blow. And all of that happened so fast and I immediately really relaxed and sank back and then I didn't wanna see it. I remember the last thing I remember thinking is I don't wanna see, I don't wanna see this. So at the point where the nose of my car was, was five feet away and he's, and he's rolling, he's crawling, I'm going 55. At the point the nose of my car was five feet away from the door of his car. I took a deep breath, I told God I loved him, and I relaxed. Because there was nothing I could do. I couldn't put on, I did, I do remember putting on brakes a little bit to try to slow down, but because the roads were wet, I was going to be all over the place. And I remember just closing my eyes and saying, God, I love you. You know, here, here I come. I'm on the way. <laughs> I'm coming, Elizabeth. Um, it's happening. It's happening. And I, and I remember thinking that. This is it. It's going to happen. And you don't have time to get scared because I wasn't I wasn't scared. You just it's okay. Here we go, you know. And I closed my eyes. And I remember that the uh, radio was playing Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson, The Girl is Mine. And they're arguing back and forth, no, she's mine, no, 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 she's mine, the girl is mine, you know, kind of thing. And I remember thinking, oh great, that's gonna be the last thing I get to hear in my life is Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney are arguing about the girl is mine. And um I, I closed my eyes and there was no boom, there was no crash. And I remember thinking I didn't, hear, I didn't hear it. So immediately when I didn't hear it, I thought, I'm dead. I really did think that because I'm thinking I didn't hear it, I didn't feel it, I don't feel anything. I must be, I must be, I must be in heaven. It must have been that, wow. And I, and I remember even thinking it was, that, it was that simple? It was that easy? You know, kind of thing. So I was... I was really thinking that that must be it. I had someone tell me this week that they went through something similar and they did wreck. And the first thing after they had their wreck, the, the OnStar person comes on and says, were you in an accident? Because the OnStar alerted the OnStar people that they had had an accident. She thought the OnStar guy was God. And she's like, yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> but I remember thinking, you know, I, I I'm alive, or, or I'm, I'm, I must be dead, until I hear Michael Jackson going, no, 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 she's mine, yeah, yeah, she said she couldn't love another, you know, kind of thing, and I'm like, wait a minute, uh, I wouldn't be hearing Michael Jackson, I don't think, in heaven, I might be hearing some music, but it wouldn't be Michael Jackson, and, and I opened my eyes, and I was, and y'all, I didn't drive for like three minutes with my eyes closed, this all happened in a, in a flash, I opened my eyes, and there was the street and the, the yellow lines going and I'm still holding the steering wheel and I, I, I was starting to slow down because I was completely let off the gas you know and the car was slowing down and I looked in my rearview mirror and that car was pulling into the parking lot that he was turning into and I don't I can't say what happened I can't say what happened other than than God did that I, I can say that. I can say God did that because there's no other explanation for it to be that way. Well, instantly, I go into this, the spaghetti legs, and my heart's pounding, and 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 I'm just, you know, I'm I'm, I'm I almost have to pull over because I'm so, oh my goodness, kind of thing going on. And there's not another car on the on the street. There's not another car. And so it was just, 
It was very strange, very strange. So um, I noticed when I put that on Facebook, and this is all I'm going to say about this, and then then we're about done. But I want to I want to say this. And I want you to hear this. I think this is important. I put it. I put the story on Facebook, and I gave total credit and glory to God. And, you know, I said to God, "Be the glory for this." And and I I said, you know, because I should be dead right now. I really feel like I, I, there's no other explanation for me being alive other than God did something. And there were tons of responses. Tons of people went on there saying things, everything from um, God's not done with you yet. Uh, there's still things for you to do here. God has more plans for you, which I 100% agree. I think if he were not done, I would be gone. I really do. But one thing that people would say is God is so good. And, and, and they're right. And I'm not, I'm not saying this as a rebuttal to someone saying God is so good because he is so good. Even when we don't deserve what he has done for us or when we, you know, deserve worse, he's still faithful and good to us. But I got to thinking about that. And I've thought about that many times over the past week. It's been almost a week. It was a week ago tomorrow. And I got to thinking, you know, God would be good regardless. You know, and just like the thought that flashed through my mind is that, that God's been good to me. If I were not here today, and the podcast we did last Monday were the last one that you would see, um, he's still good. He's still good. And regardless of what we go through, regardless of the times that, that, that I've let him down, regardless of the times that he's blessed me or chosen to withhold a blessing for me, he's still good. And if today is the last day that I have to breathe and to, to love you, then he's still good. He's still good. And, and, and I, you know, we're okay. We're okay. And so... I just want to, I want to be very careful that I don't come across by saying that, you know, something happened in that car that night, and I believe that, but even if that had not happened, he would still be good, and I think we need to be reminded and remember how good he is, regardless. On days when he doesn't do stuff like that, I'm thankful that he did, though. Me too. (laughs) But at the same time, had he chosen not to do that, then he would still be good. He would still be good. So I just wanted to say that. And I'm really enjoying. Let's see if there are any more comments. Just making not. Sure. I may have just ran everybody off with my story. <laughs> but, um. Bye. <laughs> but, but I, you know, we, I appreciate this opportunity to get to sit down and talk with you guys, to be able to hang out with you. I'm glad she's doing this with me. I didn't think she ever would, and she is. So I'm thankful for that. And do you have anything you want to say before we go? I'm good. You're good. Just fix and go get more coffee. Go get more. She just wants more coffee. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been fun. It has been fun. I like fun. the questions. Yeah, that's good. We'll have to do this again. Now, we'll be back next. I think we're coming back next Monday. The following Monday, I think I have to work on Monday. So here in a couple of weeks, and we won't be doing this. But maybe next Monday we'll do this. If you guys have other ideas that we can do as a couple, Throw them in the comments. Uh, we'll be reading all the comments on here. Uh, also, if you're watching on YouTube, this will be a repost. It won't be live. So when you watch on YouTube, we won't see your comments. But um, I like my paddles I made. You did good. You did really good. I like your name, Tammy. That's her <laughs> name, Tammy. I like her name. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we love you guys. And uh, I want to pray with you real quick, and then we'll be done, okay? Let's pray. God, thank you for the opportunity to be here with Tammy and to be with all of my friends all over the place. It's amazing where uh, we're able to to connect from and to, and we're thankful for that. Thank you for being good to us, whether we deserve it or not. Thank you for being a good God. And I just want to praise you and glorify you because you are good. And uh, whether or not we perceive it, whether or not we receive blessings, uh, whether or not we are going through good times, bad times, hard times, easy times, you are good. And we just want to remember that. We want to keep that in the forefront of our thoughts and our minds. And uh, we love you, and we are excited about what you have in store for us. 
I thank you for not being done with any of us, not just me, but any of us that's hearing my voice right now. You're not done with us, otherwise we would not be here, and we thank you for that. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. God bless you folks, and we will look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye. Bye.